so um, I can't give you a, a concrete date or anything like that. But I'd love to do it. Yeah, definitely love to do it. Hello from Israel. Hello, Della Trixa. Um, it's nice to see you too. I got a great uh, birthday message from my Israeli fans. I don't know if you were part of that or not, but it's always great. Will there be uh, DVD material in New York at the pit from February? Yes. Yes, I would put stuff on from all of the different shows that were recorded. Um, uh, will I be bringing J-Moms to England? Uh, I'd love to. That'd be great. Um, we'll see. I need to make sure I could do a United States tour first, but I, I always say I would love to come to England. I'd love to see you guys. Um, please take the poll I'm giving you, because if I get good responses on these... That's a good way for me to gauge if I can go different places. You know, I did one of these for Los Angeles, and it worked out really well. Uh, now I'm doing one for a DVD release. So, you know, if I had a panda, what would I call it? I'd call it Da Shong Mao, which, if you speak Chinese, that's not a very creative name, but I'd be a good name for an English person. Um, hello from Buenos Aires, Argentina. Hello. Nice to meet you. I hope to come to Buenos Aires one day as well. I heard they have good air there. Will I ever come to Washington, D.C. again? Yes, absolutely. I had a blast, and um, Marina Sophia, I don't know if you were there, but uh, I had a wonderful time meeting everybody, um, and I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, oh, this is a good one. Will I be at the Apocalypse Tour from Hannah ZBD? Um, I am not on the tour, so uh, on the various different cities, I will not be present, unfortunately, although thank you all very much for your interest. Um, but I, I will say that I do live in New York, and uh, I do love my friends, the Star Kids. Uh, I'm very much still a part of Star Kid. So if they're around here, there's a good chance that I might be here as well. Do I plan on doing anything with Star Kid again in the future? From Horse Lover Keg. That's a funny name. Uh, yeah, absolutely, definitely. You know this this last Batman show, which was great, by the way. If you, oh, there goes my curtains. Got really dark in here. Um, if if you do get a chance, uh, check out Holy Musical Batman. I thought it was hilarious. And, uh, and although I wasn't in it, there was a lot of star kids that weren't in it because it was just all the people that are currently living in Chicago, obviously, but it was an awesome, awesome show. So please go check that out. If you get a chance, star kid and does it again. It's amazing. <laughs> Love good forever. What makes your ears so amazing? Probably the fact that they're so big. When I was little, one time somebody called me Dumbo because I thought I could fly away with my ears. <laughs> did I meet Nick Gage? Yes, I did. Very nice guy. Um... If you were a superhero, which one would you be? That's easy. Spider-Man. I mean, look at me. I'm a nerdy guy with, with brown hair, and uh, I love to do backflips and handstands and swing on webs, so yes. Um, Jelly Cobain, what was the role you had the most fun playing with Star Kid? That's really tough, because they're all a lot of fun. Um, I'm going to have to go ahead and say the Potion Master is the most fun for me, because that's the one that... I got to play with the most, you know, that's the one that I did the most stuff with. Um, will I ever do a J-Moms in Chicago from Nutella Star Kid? Yeah, I did one in Chicago, like, last month, and I'd be happy to do it again, because that was awesome. Uh, you guys were great. I did it at Stage 773, which was a whole lot of fun. Uh, what's your favorite Star Kid song? You know, that's always tough. I get asked that one a lot, um, but the one that I kind of... It's, I really can't pick it like an overall favorite, one that I would say this is the absolute one. But my, my current favorite right now is um, The Way I Do, because it's just such a beautiful song, and I think everybody on that track does such a beautiful job singing it, um, particularly Dylan, who has an awesome voice, as you guys know. I have that BMAC. Did you get it from Target? No, I did not get it from Target, thank you. I think I overpaid for it somewhere in Williamsburg because uh, that's what I do, because that's how I act. Okay. Can you have a J-Moms on the night of the NYC Apocalypse Tour? That doesn't make any sense, because then I'd be going right up against Star Kid, and I probably am going to be hanging out with the Star Kids that day. So, no, I can't do it on the day of the NYC Apocalypse Tour, but something nearby would uh, definitely be reasonable and within reason. Joe, have you ever been to Ohio? Uh, yes, and I think I got a speeding ticket, so I'm never coming back. Um, no, I like Ohio. Ohio's a great place. I've been there before. I've been to Cedar Point. I like Cedar Point. That's a very, very fun place. Uh, <laughs> Darren Gleek with a picture of Chris Colfer. Come to England, please. London is waiting for you. Hey, I would love to come to England. I told you. Just, uh, we gotta make sure that 
we have a good venue and we can do a show and we got all the right people there and you guys would all come out and see it. Um, yeah, yeah, I'd love to do that. Cool. Um, who do you want to work with in the future from Star Kid Corner? Uh, Wes Anderson, you know, Adrian Brody would be good. Uh, Co-starring co role with Brad Pitt. Those are all pretty reasonable things. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, you know, I don't know exactly. I liked working with uh, Grace a lot. Grace Halbig here in New York. That was a lot of fun. Um, I love collaborating with the Star Kids, obviously. Uh, we always meet some great new people through Star Kid and through these various conventions we do. Uh, the Gregory Brothers. Uh, met them. I met them very briefly. Star Kid hung out with them a little bit longer, but they were a lot of fun and they do the kind of stuff we like to do. So there's all kinds of people that I would love to meet and hang out with. So yes, 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 definitely. Um, can you say happy birthday to my friend Priya? Hello, my friend Priya. Happy birthday. Would you rather be Spider-Man or Boba Fett? Now this is just, that's just like straight up trickery. I can't answer those kind of questions. You guys know this. It's, it's too much for one man to ask. Uh, could I be a Spider-Man with Boba Fett's armor? I think that's what I would do. <laughs> what do I think of all the spandex and holy musical Batman? Personally, I thought it was brilliant. Yeah, I thought it was brilliant too. Um, I thought it's just the right amount of spandex, you know, a little bit more spandex and it might turn into like a WWF wrestling match, but with just that amount, it's a nice superhero play where everyone feels empowered and they feel, um, super and hero-ish and like they're ready to kick some butt. What's my favorite of the modern doctors? Um, gotta say guys, Mr. Tennant has uh, been my favorite so far, but it's just cause he has so much fun playing it. So, I mean, it's it's hard to argue with somebody who has that much fun with what they do. I hope to bring that much fun um, to all the roles that I play, too. And they said it was his dream role. They said he always wanted to play the doctor growing up, which I just think is so cool uh, to get to live your dream like that. Because I like to do... This is kind of living my dream, too, yeah. It's, um, oh, the new dude playing Spider-Man as opposed to Toby? Yeah, Andrew Garfield. Andrew Garfield's awesome. He's one of my like favorite actors that's acting right now. I'm not so sure about rebooting Spider-Man so quickly because I really, really liked the first ones. But I gotta say, if if you were gonna have somebody do it, they've got an excellent cast. You know, Andrew Garfield, um, Martin Sheen is in there, and of course Emma Stone, who is brilliant and lovely and quite funny. So yeah, I would do it. Have I ever seen a panda in real life? Uh, from Maddie C. Yes, I have. I've seen several pandas. That's actually kind of where my panda fascination flourished was I uh, lived in China for a little while when I was in college I studied abroad in China and I saw pandas everywhere uh, and that's how I became obsessed with pandas although I will say I've liked pandas since I was a small child when I was like five years old I went to uh, Halloween in a homemade panda bear costume that my mom made me with little panda bear ears and like the little black mask uh, painted on my face in a full-on panda bear suit. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Why the lack of J-Moms NYC lately? We miss you. Well, guys, I miss you too, but uh, this kind of stuff goes in phases. You know, um, we were doing a lot of performances, which was a great way to workshop the material we had written, and now we're back and we're working on new material. So you can count on when we come and do it again. It's going to be even better than last time because we're going to take everything we've learned and everything we've done from the last ones and, and build upon it. Uh, if I do DVD, hi Vinyamar, that's from Amanda. Uh, if you if you do DVDs, would they have any behind the scenes or rehearsal footage? Yes, I personally don't have that much behind the scenes or rehearsal footage because <laughs> I just it's a very small crew that you'll see when we run it. Um, so we don't have a lot of people taking videos, but whatever I had, I would definitely throw in there. And I think an audio commentary track would definitely be something I could do. Um, I would get a blast out of, out of doing something like that. But we'll see. It might be for future releases, or it might be for this one that we have um, planning coming up. Um, J-Mom's in San Diego. Please answer from Katie Martins. Yeah, Katie, I'd love to do one in San Diego. I'd love to do one every place in the world. It's just a matter of getting the right venue and making sure that we have um, an audience that's going to show up and, and have fun with us. But yeah, I'd love to do it. I would love to do it. Would I say something in Chinese for you? Sure. Ni hao, wo han shu han da sheng mao. There you go. Uh, will I come to Europe someday? Yes. I guarantee you I will come to Europe someday. Promise. Uh, 
from Abby Panda, the most memorable J Mom's moment. Here's a moment that was not in uh, not in the script, but pretty memorable that I thought was really funny. We were doing J Mom's L.A. and there was a scene called the Stand In where we had uh, Joey Richter playing the Stand In for um, Brian Rosenthal. Oh no, for me, I was the actor. I forget who was cast in which, but anyway, oh yeah, I was the actor. And then we uh, and I, I made fun of Joey's crooked jaw, sort of improvisationally, and somebody in the audience yelled out, I love that crooked jaw! And the whole audience applauded. And yes, I know who it was. And yes, I thought it was mildly inappropriate, but very funny. Because it's an improvisational show, so I'm okay to have fun like that. Um, the France love you. Oh, well, thank you, The France. Can I wish happy birthday to my friend? I, I assume that's Margo. It sounds like Margo. So yes, Frog Chaser, happy birthday, Margo. And I love you too, France. Um, hopefully I will be seeing you soon. That would make me very, very happy. What's the weirdest dream I have ever had? I can't talk about that. Nope, that's way too weird. It's way, way, way too weird. Hardest scene not to laugh in a very Potter musical from I Love Darren 938. Uh, when I was on stage with just Lauren Lopez and Joe Walker, when we're in Voldy's Evil Lair making our secret plot, uh, we all hammed it up so much. It was so, so hard not to laugh uh, during that part because Walker was way over the top. I was incredibly over the top. And, you know, Lauren was being crazy, too. If you'll notice, I actually, like, crawled onto the desk and was, like, looking right into Lauren's face from, like, this far away. So that's pretty funny. Um, cool. What else, guys? Did uh, did everyone that's on here? Did you please go and take the uh, take the, the Twitter poll I put out there? Uh, in case you're just joining us, I am talking about releasing um, some footage from the previous J Moms I've done over the course of about six months, from like August until February or March. So I guess six seven months. We have done um, a lot 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 of performances, and we've gotten some pretty decent footage from a lot of them. So what I'd really like to do, if you guys are interested, is put together sort of a best of compilation. It includes footage from the New York shows, it includes footage from the Los Angeles shows, and um, put it all together in something that you would really uh, maybe get a good feel for what we do here at the Joe Moses One Man Shows is, and, um, and then release it to you on, uh, on DVD or on iTunes or uh, another form of digital download. Something that you could go and uh, that would be easy to, to get anywhere you are. Israel, Brazil, Argentina, France, Germany, Australia, wherever you guys may be coming from. Um, so you don't have to fly all the way out of here just to see me. Because that's crazy cool that you guys do that. But <laughs> Yeah, that's cool. How soon would the DVD be released? Good question, Jessica Lehman. Um, not exactly sure because I'm combing through the footage right now and there's a lot of it. And so it's going to take a little while, but... Uh, we'd be expecting something in maybe the end of May, early June. This is all very tentative. This is why I talk to you guys. I love hearing from you. I love finding out what you guys are interested in. So, yes. Um, cool. Cool. <laughs> uh, you guys asked some weird questions. I love it. You guys, you guys are very strange. Um, cool. I don't know if I should I should uh, speak to these things when they come up because it's a little weird. But Charlie Tubbs asked me to say, "Can I say eyebrows?" And I just did. So there you go. If that really is your dream, boom, dream come true right there, just by me saying the word eyebrows. I might have been roped into something really strange there that I had no idea happened. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, am I excited for the Avengers movie? Yeah. I love the Avengers. I'm a little disappointed with the lack of Spider-Man because he is one of the Avengers, as everyone knows. And uh, but I'm really excited for Jeremy Renner's Hawkeye. I think that's really funny. Uh, I think that's really cool. Do I watch Dance Moms? No, I do not watch Dance Moms. Not saying anything bad about about Dance Moms, but you know, yeah. If it was a hard copy, where would we purchase it from? Probably the same place you get your Team Star Kid DVDs from uh, Ann Arbor T-shirt Company. Order it online and then have it shipped out to you. Um, ID and Potter says, "Marry me." Oh, that's so sweet. Uh, I, unfortunately, I have to decline. But thank you for your offer. It's very nice of you. Um, let's see, Miss Nerdzilla, what is your favorite word? 
I think I've answered this one before. Pedantic is my favorite word, because then if someone asks, uh, what's your favorite word, I can say, ah, uh, it's pedantic. And if you know what pedantic means, then you'll catch that that's kind of an ironic little joke right there. Uh, am I on Pottermore? No, I'm not on Pottermore. Uh, sorry, I kind of missed out on the beta when that came out. Um, so, I don't really know how to get on there. Sounds like fun, though. I'd probably be like Slytherin, so, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start to wrap it up here. It's, uh, it's been really nice to chat with you all. But I just wanted to uh, take a little time to say hello, see what all you guys were thinking about, and also um, see if you're interested in, in seeing the Joe Moses One Man Shows as come to DVD or digital download, iTunes, whatever it, it may be, because I'd really love for you guys uh, to get a chance to look at it, to see what we've been working on, because we have been working on it real hard. And, uh, of course, we'd love, love, love if you guys uh, got to see that. Oh, Pottermore is open to the public now. Great, I did not know that. Well, thank you for that. I will look into that. Um, it sounds like a lot of fun, uh, and I know a lot of my friends are on it. So, yeah, I'd be down for that. That'd be fun. I'd definitely end up in Slytherin. There's no doubt about it in my mind. Maybe Gryffindor. I'm kind of a nice guy, but, you know, it's Slytherin's rule. Okay. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much. Um, it's been lovely. Let me, uh, let me go ahead and take like one more question here, and then head on over and go to uh, teamstarkid.com at 5 p.m. of the local venue time of your city, and make sure to pick up Apocalypse Tour tickets, because these guys are going to be awesome. If you haven't heard the music from uh, Holy Musical Batman, it's really good, uh, and they're going to be singing songs from that, as well as some old favorites, and it's got a wonderful, wonderful cast, so they're, they're definitely going to keep you guys entertained, and it's always a good time with these tours. It's such an event. I went to the one in Irving Plaza last year um, in New York City, and wow, I had so much fun. I, I was just on stage for like the last five minutes of it, but I had so much fun talking to you guys. You guys were so awesome. So, so cool. All right, guys. Well, uh, as I said, I got to run, but thank you so much, and um, until next time.